Here on Wham Bam Tesla Cam, we've shown you over 5,000 Tesla Cam videos sent in by our fans, and we serve up new ones every week. Today, we're showcasing some of the craziest clips we've ever featured, so buckle up for Wham Bam Tesla Cam's Worst Drivers of Florida, Volume 1. Cameron was approaching an intersection with a green light when the driver of a GMC Sierra tried to beat the light and failed to yield to oncoming traffic. Cameron crashed into the pickup truck head on and spun around 180 degrees. The truck proceeded to hit another vehicle before they all came to a complete stop. Cameron broke his right arm in the impact, but everyone was able to walk away alive and without any other severe injuries. One of the responding officers was absolutely amazed by the fact that the Tesla recorded everything on video and just kept saying how much he loves Tesla. Tesla actually contacted Cameron minutes after the crash to notify him that they detected the collision. Cameron thanked them for reaching out and they helped him call a tow truck and make an insurance claim. The Tesla was deemed a total loss with damages exceeding 60,000 US dollars. Cameron sent along a message with this story, please be patient and stop for red lights. Agus was driving in Orlando, Florida when a guy ran across the road and dropped something in front of him. Luckily, Agus was able to stop in time. The guy then proceeded to retrieve his item and that was when Agus noticed he was wearing a ski mask. As soon as he ran across the street, Agus saw two other guys chase after him. What do you think is going on here? Wait, is this an action movie? Dario was driving his Model 3 performance in Panama City, Florida. His girlfriend was in the passenger seat and they were just leaving the movie theater after watching the new Avatar film. When Dario slowed down for a red light, they suddenly felt a large impact from behind. The driver behind them had rear-ended the Tesla at full speed, sending it spinning 180 degrees. They barely avoided hitting the Jeep that was stopped in front of them. The driver at fault turned out to be a teenage girl with her friends and they'd actually been at the same movie. The police were contacted and a police report was made. Dario wasn't hurt, but his girlfriend suffered a baseball-sized contusion on her right thigh since she'd been leaning forward browsing music on the touchscreen at the time of the impact. Dario filed an insurance claim and the initial repair estimate was around 13,000 US dollars. Further investigation pushed it to over $50,000, at which point the Tesla was deemed a total loss. Dario sent along a shout out to his girlfriend because she really loved the car. In the end, they're both just happy everyone was able to walk away from the crash. Bob was driving his Model 3 back from an appointment when he merged to the left lane to overtake a line of cars stuck behind a big motorhome. At that moment, the trailer the motorhome was towing lost a tire, separating the wheel well from the trailer. This sent parts flying all over the road and a silver SUV had to swerve to avoid it. Unfortunately, it lost control before crossing every lane of the highway. Luckily, a garbage truck managed to brake in time. Now that could have been a terrible accident. David was driving his Model 3 in Orlando, Florida when he came to a four-way stop. He stopped, then continued. Then, he felt a large impact from the right. When the dust settled, he realized he'd been T-boned by a speeding driver who'd blown the stop sign. Police found the other driver at fault. Paramedics and police officers were amazed at the technology of the Tesla, and the police found the video invaluable for their crash investigation. In addition to watching the video at the scene, they also requested a copy for their report. David filed an insurance claim with the other driver's insurance provider. The initial repair estimate came to 27,000 US dollars, and the body shop is now waiting for parts so the repairs can begin. While heading home from Universal Studios, a black Dodge Challenger driver sped around Anthony using a turn lane. He proceeded to cut Anthony off to get back into traffic. A sheriff's deputy was behind him and immediately pulled him over. Gotta love that instant justice. Anthony had just taken delivery of his Model Y two weeks earlier. He's been watching Wham Bam for almost two years and he never thought he'd be able to submit a video so quickly after getting his Tesla. Welcome to the club, Anthony, but you still need to be coal rolled to join the inner circle. Lauren was on her way to work in Orlando, Florida when a third generation F-Body turned unexpectedly without signaling. This caused the vehicle in front of her to slow down, so the Tesla had to utilize its emergency braking. Luckily, Lauren's Tesla didn't contact the vehicle in front of her. Unfortunately, the vehicle behind her wasn't able to stop in time and, you guessed it, Honda bumped her. Lauren ended up being fine, only suffering a little whiplash. Lauren wanted to give a shout out to her husband Aaron and their nine-month-old son, AJ. 
Jeffrey was driving in Orlando, Florida when another driver abruptly left the passing lane to try to reach an exit. They nearly sideswiped a white car before braking hard. The person behind them slammed on their brakes and swerved to avoid a collision, but they ended up hitting Jeffrey's Tesla instead. Both drivers pulled over, but the person who'd caused the accident in the first place hadn't been hit, so they just took their exit and left. Jeffrey was only able to find part of their license plate number from his Tesla cam footage. Jeffrey's insurance company uses AI software to identify license plate numbers, and they're hoping that they can figure it out so the driver can be held responsible for the accident they caused. While driving in Coral Springs, an Audi SUV driver mistook the left green arrow for a green light and ran a red light, crashing into an oncoming vehicle turning left. A police officer happened to be sitting at the red light and witnessed the whole thing and he rushed over to make sure everyone was okay. Joshi thought they could make the officer's job a little easier and sent this video to the Coral Springs Police Department. Jonathan was driving with his dad when another driver turned left without checking that it was clear. At first, Jonathan says they couldn't see the other driver because of the pickup truck and would have crashed into it if not for autopilot hitting the brakes. The lady who'd made the dangerous turn flew out of her car in a rage, shouting that Jonathan's dad had been driving too fast. The Tesla cam footage proves clearly that wasn't the case. John was driving his Model 3 in Wildwood, Florida when a driver going way too fast in the left lane slammed on their brakes only to lose control and hit another car. John emailed a statement to the police along with this video, but he hasn't heard anything back. Warren was driving on a road where two lanes merge into one and everyone uses the zipper merge, but the driver of a Bumblebee yellow Camaro didn't get the memo. The Camaro driver didn't understand how to zipper merge and tried to cut in front of Warren at the last minute. Warren admits he should have stayed calm, but he didn't. He gave the Camaro driver a run for his money. As Warren described it, another driver with a cooler head moved over and the Camaro passed on the shoulder. Who was in the wrong here? Warren for not letting the Camaro driver in or the Camaro driver for not merging like a zipper? Let us know in a comment. Vidal was coming down from West Palm toward Miami on I-95 when traffic was slowing down for a previous collision. Vidal was driving with autopilot engaged. When the school bus behind him changed lanes, the driver of an Audi didn't notice the slowdown and slammed directly into Vidal's Tesla. There were no tire marks or screeching leading up to the impact, so Vidal doesn't think the driver even touched the brakes. Vidal had left space ahead of him and Autopilot automatically applied the brakes so he only inched forward. Immediately before the collision, he felt the seatbelts tighten and for a split second, he wondered why that had happened. When speaking with the police, they initially blamed Vidal for causing the accident by suddenly stopping, but they changed their minds after he showed them his Tesla cam footage. Between waiting on replacement parts and repairs, it took three months to repair the damage. In total, the repair bill reached 10,000 US dollars after replacing the rear bumper, the rear hatch, and several other miscellaneous parts. Steve-O was slowing down for a red light in Pembroke Pines, Florida. When the light turned green, an SUV rear-ended a Honda. Now we know how Hondas build up power for Honda bumps. Donald was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Tampa, Florida. He was in the left lane when traffic suddenly slowed down for a tow truck. Multiple drivers, including Donald, slammed on their brakes and swerved, but unfortunately, the driver in front of Donald slammed into the back of the tow truck with a car already on the lift. Donald pulled over and checked on the drivers involved. Everyone was okay, but we have to imagine this gave the tow truck driver quite the scare. As for the cars, Donald is certain both of them will be deemed total losses and that the tow truck dropped them both off at a junkyard. He was sitting at a red light in his Model 3 when a Scion approached from behind. The Scion driver didn't slow down for the red light, instead she changed lanes and rear-ended Jack at full speed. The impact sent Jack forward into the truck in front of him, jamming the truck's tow hitch into the front of his Model 3. Jack jumped out and made sure everyone was okay. The truck driver and her truck were completely fine. The Scion was completely destroyed and the old lady driving it was in shock, so Jack called 911. The responding officer and paramedics believed the elderly woman may have been suffering from dementia, and the officer made a request that she be required to retest before driving again. Jack left the scene without a scratch. 
Sadly, we can't say the same about his Tesla, which was rendered undrivable by a flurry of error messages. The car was towed to a wrecking yard, where it's currently waiting for an insurance appraiser to decide if it will be repaired or written off. Jack is actually the gaming YouTuber Bandites, and he has over 860,000 subscribers. An impatient pickup driver who was behind a bus merged from the far right lane to the middle lane and another vehicle in the middle lane didn't see them. The other vehicle struck the pickup and flipped on its side before hitting another one in the left lane and flipping upright again. Two adults and a toddler were in the car that had flipped and thankfully none of them were injured. Jana got the contact info of the driver and sent them a copy of this Tesla cam video for them to give to their insurance provider. Josh was driving his Model X in Mineola, Florida when he was suddenly passed by a police car. At the same time, he heard a swarm of police cars approaching in the oncoming lanes. A stolen semi was fleeing the police, ran a red light, and was broadsided by a Jeep, causing the semi to spin out of control, cross the median, and slide right behind Josh. Thankfully, Josh was able to hit the juice pedal and get out of the way. Two suspects fled. One of them was captured five minutes later, but they were still searching for the other using helicopters for at least another hour. Josh showed his footage to the police and gave them a copy. They were thankful and told him they can use it as evidence. Lewis was driving his Model 3 in the express lanes of I-95 in Deerfield Beach, Florida. The two express lanes were merging into a single lane and everyone was using the zipper merge method. Except for two drivers, that is. The driver of a Lexus and of a Model 3 behind Lewis. They weren't in agreement about who should merge behind Lewis. The Model 3 and the Lexus began driving alongside each other and we can see some intense hand gestures going on between them. The woman driving the Model 3 backed off, and it seemed like the incident was over, but actually, it was only getting started. Lewis could see in his rearview mirror that the Lexus driver kept swerving onto and off of the shoulder until a police car pulled up next to them, at which point they began driving normally. Just as the police car passed them, traffic in the express lane came to a complete stop up ahead. The Lexus driver braked and swerved to the shoulder to avoid rear-ending Lewis, but the Tesla plowed straight into both of them. Lewis says that at the moment of impact, Autopilot took over and applied the brakes and swerved to the right to avoid a collision with the car in front of him. His theory is that the Tesla driver was distracted while road raging with the Lexus and the Lexus driver had been watching the Tesla in the rearview mirror and anticipated that she wouldn't stop. That's why he headed for the shoulder. Police determined that the driver of the red Tesla was at fault and she was cited for reckless driving. Lewis's Tesla, which he picked up only a month before this incident, was deemed a total loss. A driver failed to check for traffic before merging into the lane Max Tesla was already merging into while using autopilot. Max says his signal was on for a while before merging, but the other driver turned on her signal and immediately merged over without checking if the lane was clear. Max grabbed the wheel at almost the same time autopilot started to take evasive action. Still, he's pretty sure that in the end, Autopilot is the one that made the save. Behind them was a state trooper who saw the whole thing. After Autopilot pulled Mac back into the left lane, the trooper zoomed over with him, then maneuvered to pull the lady over. Both Mac and his girlfriend Kendra shouted in excitement when they witnessed the instant justice. It looks like she even moved over, thinking the trooper wanted to go past her, but then he stayed with her instead. Nope, you're the one getting pulled over. Tony was driving his Model 3 in Fort Myers, Florida when an RV driver failed to yield and forced the driver in front of him to slam on the brakes. Tony stopped, but the driver behind him didn't have time to avoid rear-ending him. Guess what kind of car they were driving? <sighs> Roll the jingle. Tony wasn't even surprised that he'd finally been Honda bumped. Both drivers filed insurance claims and he's still waiting for a repair estimate. Videl sent us one more story. Sadly, he lost the original files, so this one is just a phone recording. In this one, he slowly approached and stopped at a red light. A couple of seconds later, a turning driver didn't yield to traffic and collided with his Tesla. Both lights were turning red at the time, and the van driver was found at fault for the collision. Repairing Videl's car cost 1800 US dollars. X47B was driving along. Wait a second, that name sounds familiar. A little like Elon Musk's kid's name. 
We googled it, and it turns out it's some kind of secret aircraft. Moving on, as X-47B approached a red light, an aggressive BMW driver cut him off while he was merging into the leftmost turn lane, even though there was plenty of room behind him. X-47B flashed his brights at him, which must have made the guy even angrier because he immediately brake checked him. A moment later, he actually got out of his car to cuss X-47B out. When the light turned green, our submitter decided not to get behind the BMW, figuring the guy would just brake check him again. Instead, he hit the juice pedal and merged into traffic. Apparently, the BMW driver couldn't let that slide, so he raced past our submitter and cut off the car in front of him. X47B wanted us to ask our viewers, what's wrong with Orlando drivers? He also wanted to shout out all his work friends in Melbourne and Palmdale and said, they know who they are. I think I know who they are too. When we googled X47B, one of the first hits was this article about a top secret desert assembly plant that is being planned in Palmdale, while Melbourne will serve as a design center. That's two for two. Feels like we got a little too much information here. And there's someone at the door, right in the middle of recording. Hold on, I'm coming. Jason's wife was driving his Model 3 to pick up the kids she babysits from school when she was caught in the middle of a storm. We've actually put together a song for these kinds of videos. All of a sudden, the storm pushed a tree into a power line and it nearly landed on top of the car. The tree came within inches of crushing the trunk and sprayed debris at the car. Thankfully, there was no damage to the car, but we can imagine it gave Jason's wife and the kids a big scare. This is Jason's first time submitting, and he wanted to say he loves our videos and he constantly watches them at work, even while he should be working. Thanks, Jason, and don't worry, we won't tell anyone. This submitter was on his way home from the store after buying more cars for his diecast collection when he heard music in the distance. When he looked to the right, he saw two people riding horses toward the crosswalk and playing music from a speaker. He says the horses were dancing perfectly to the rhythm. Since Tesla cams don't record audio, we'll just have to take his word for it. We just can't get over the fact that this video looks very fake, like it's some sort of composited video. What do you think? Is it real? We ran a poll on our patron-only Discord server and people seem to think it's real, but we're still not convinced. Fred was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Titusville, Florida when he noticed traffic slowing down and flashing blue lights up ahead. It turned out there was an accident ahead in the left lane. One SUV driver got a little impatient and overtook Fred in the right lane. Unsurprisingly, when traffic came to a complete stop, the SUV driver wasn't ready for it. He locked up his brakes and caused another collision in the left lane when he smacked into the median barrier. We've gotten lots of feedback that our episodes often lack proper endings, so let's try something new. Please enjoy this cinematic outro.